Hi everybody, be love 911 here once again for an RPG Maker XP event command tutorial. This time I'll be showing you the first two events on the third page. The first one is battle processing. Now what you can do with your maps by going to map properties is you can select what kind of troops are going to show up on the um, on your map when you walk around and here it says step average that's how long it'll take you uh, how many steps it'll take you to encounter one of these random battles but if you want it to have a um, if you want to set a battle that isn't randomized go to battle processing click on it you select whichever uh, whichever uh, monster you want to battle and right here it says cannot escape which means that you can't run from the battle you have to fight it and the next one is continue even when you're the loser and if you lose the battle then you can keep playing it doesn't show the uh, the game over screen so this is great for boss battles and uh, but I'll just show you right now. I've selected this character. This is a uh, goblin. I'll use oops, goblin two. And in battle processing, I've selected goblin two. And it's on uh, action trigger. So when I approach this guy and use the action button on him, like let's say I want this to be the boss battle. So I go up to him, and it brings this up. So that's how you can uh, trigger a battle with whatever monster you want. And the next thing I'll show you is shot processing. And what this is, it allows you to create a shop. This can be used for merchants on the side of the road, it can be used for vendors, it can be used for um, shop owners in their shops. So when you click on it, it opens this little uh, it opens this window and it has goods and prices and prices for each of the goods can be changed in the database under items you go there to change the price of them but um, when you double click on uh, the little blue bar in here um, it brings up the goods window you can select whichever item you want him to sell um, whichever weapon you want him to sell and whatever wa armor you want him to sell. And you can add more than one item. But I just want him to be a potion vendor, and that's all I want from him. So when I click on him, it brings up the um, buy and sell window, the shop process. And you can see here that the potion is for sale. And um, you can sell whatever item you have, but I don't have any items in there in my inventory. So I'm going to create a little shop for you guys, and I will be right back. Hi, everyone. I just finished my, uh, my uh, little shop here, and I've used a lot of custom, um, custom figures. So you're going to see some things that you haven't seen before. So here it is. I have these two suits of armor on the side. So in this shop, uh, it's actually set up into two different uh, sides. And the first side is the bartender and shopkeep. So when you talk to him, he says, hi, what can I get for you? And it gives you three options here. It gives you a beer, shop, and cancel. So you can buy a beer without having to go through the whole shop process. And he says that'll be five gold. If you say okay, it subtracts five gold from your uh, from your treasury. He pours the beer, and you receive it in your inventory. Items somewhere. I don't know. It's supposed to, but that's not important. So when you go to shop. You click on buy, 
and he gives you four options, four different things that he sells. A potion, a high potion, an elixir, and some fruit. And so, um, yeah, you can sell anything that you buy, so I'll buy a potion right now, and it takes 50 away from uh, the amount of gold I have. Go to sell, and you can sell it back to him for half price. So I only get 25 back from it. And um, you can see here that I've made a little um, blacksmith shop. He has his suits of armor set out all over the shop. There's um, there's this uh, all of the things that he's created all over the place, and. I need to put some barriers on here because right now you can walk wherever you want, pretty much. And when you have things like this that you want to uh, block off so that you can't walk past them, what you do is you go to your database, go to your tile set, find a blank tile. I usually use the bottom right tile if it's blank or the bottom left if it's blank, and click on it and it'll make it an X. And what you do is you go to your third layer. Oh, sorry, I'm not in that map. Right now I am in the Farm Village Inn. So we'll go to that one. And I will use the one above the candle. Click that to make it an X. So now the one above the candle, uh, you go to your third layer and you click wherever you want it to be. So now it's writing it as a uh, blocked off area. So you can't walk on those spaces. So now I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the uh, blacksmith. So go to your event layer, click on my blacksmith, and he will ask, how may I help you? You can make him say anything you want, but <clears throat> this is what I'm going to have him say. And when you use show choices after text, the text will appear and the, show ch and the uh, choices will appear right below it, so it won't end up on a new page when you're talking to him. So we'll go shop and cancel as the choices. So <coughs> when you do the shop, go to um, shop process, go to we uh, weapons, and I will select the bronze sword, click OK, go to your next one shield, um, how about mithril shield, and then we'll give him another weapon. We'll say the mithril sword, and those will be your choices to shop from. When you hit cancel, I won't do anything else. So, you can see that the barkeep is wiping down the counter, and the, uh, blacksmith is hammering away making a sword so when you talk to him he says how may I help you go shop and it brings up this menu and because I only have a thousand gold I don't have enough for either of these the mithril sword or the mithril shield but I can buy the bronze sword so now you can see if I go to equipment and go to the weapons and I equip his bronze sword it makes his attack uh, 70 now instead of zero so and now you can see that I can't move uh, through any of these now because I've blocked it off with the um, the blank square on the third layer. So if you have any questions of this, if you see any custom sprites that you want, uh, let me know and I'll post them on my website, giving you the links. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate me five stars, comment. If you have any comments or questions, uh, leave a comment on this video or send me a personal message and I'll get back to you.
Hope to see you in my new videos, guys. Bye.